100 light tactical trucks are getting a new home. The move is a proof of principle the United States Army Security Assistance Command launched to maximize the Excess Defense Articles, or EDA, program. The EDA proof of principle really works twofold. Our forces are able to avoid the transportation, storage, and demilitarization costs, and it provides our partner nation with better maintained equipment, increasing their force modernization. USASAC is not slowing down divesture nor costing the Army money because of the program. As partner nations participating pay for the packing, crating, handling, and transportation costs, as well as refurbishment if necessary. But all the excess defense articles provided within the program are offered at a reduced rate or through a grant process. Our combatant commands who are communicating with these partner nations are able to determine which approved countries have the need for this type of equipment. That information is then sent through the embassies and then forwarded to our military departments who can identify the excess defense article to fill those needs. All equipment used in the program comes from units rather than depots, and the entire process from start to finish only lasts around 18 months. The EDA proof of principle lines up with USASAC's mission of building partner capacity, supporting geographical combatant commands, and strengthening U.S. global partnerships, all while supporting Army readiness. The program is still very new, but lines up with what the Army and COCOMs want to accomplish. And the response and feedback we've received so far has been positive. Reporting for the United States Security Assistance Command, I'm Tim Hansen.